What do you get when you take one of the most hated video game franchises ever and put it on the Atari Jaguar? Well, I am the Game Collector, and this is Second Opinion Games, and today we do a review of Bubsy and Fractured Furry Tales for the Atari Jaguar. Second Opinion Games Now, before anyone thinks that I tried to cut corners on this review, I didn't. I gave this game many opportunities to impress me, and, well... It's Bubsy after all. So, so let's start off with a few things that I like about the game. The graphics are pretty amazing and beautiful. The colors really pop. The sound effects are actually pretty decent. And the music is very upbeat. And there's more than one music tracks, which is better than most Atari Jaguar games at least. On top of it, the voice sampling sounds superb as well. And I like the puns before each level. Even the name of the game, Fractured Furry Tales? Come on, guys. That is a little bit funny. Especially when I hear other people say it wrong all the time. So off the start, you will notice that Bubsy isn't your standard 2D platform game. There's switches you have to flip. And there's no one way to get to the exit. Just like Sonic the Hedgehog, you could take multiple paths and still make it to the exit, and there's plenty of extra lives along the way. You also start off with 9 lives, and you're going to need all of them because you'll die a lot. And a lot. And a lot. It seems like this game's biggest influence was taken from Sonic the Hedgehog, as Bubsy can move really, really fast. Make sure you take a full advantage of the glide mechanic though, because there is fall damage, and if you're not gliding before you hit the ground, you'll probably die. So, just take that into account. The B button does a very high jump, and the C button does a smaller jump and the glide. So usually jump with the B, and then hit the C to glide. Also, gliding has another pretty nice effect, is when you run into enemies head on, if you're gliding into them, most of them will die. Just jumping on their heads to a lot of enemies, even these weird cactus creatures, will also kill the cactuses. It's kind of counterintuitive, I know, but hey, it's in the game. And what makes Bubsy hard, though, is the fact that he's one-hit kills. One hit, and you're dead. A lot of the death animations do look actually pretty good, but why couldn't they give him more than one hit? On top of it, sometimes it just abruptly stops when you get hit, and you don't even realize what hit you, so then when you make it to the same place again, you get hit by the same thing, and don't even realize what's killing you. Also, something that could kill you often is what you think is the background. See, there's lots of different decorations in the game, both in the background and in the foreground. Sometimes you don't even notice something, and you try to walk past it just to find out that there were spikes in the foreground and you're dead. That can be a problem. And so also, later in the game, you'll notice candle wax dripping from the ceilings, or at the end of the game, chocolate dripping from the ceilings. Guess what? It's also deadly. What type of cat is this that he dies from one drop of chocolate on his head? That makes no sense whatsoever. To top it off, I'm not entirely sure Bubsy is a good guy in this game. Heck, the first level boss is the Mad Hatter, which I'm pretty sure was a good guy from the movie and the books. I know he's a little weird, but he was a good guy. You also fight the lobster from The Little Mermaid, and at the very end of the game you'll even show have a showdown with Hansel and Gretel. I guess those kids really had it coming. I, I think Bubsy just hates children, and that makes a lot of sense when you're playing this game, because if you were a child when you were playing it, you would feel like Bubsy really hates you for making you play the game to begin with. I am not going to sugarcoat this, guys. This game is brutally difficult. I had a co-pilot with me today, reading me a walkthrough as I try to run through the game, which is the first time I had to do that with any of my Atari Jaguar games, and still I died repeatedly. 
and it was really rough. I did clear quite a few levels and even made it towards the end of the game. However, this game is just too difficult for one marathon play. I really like the colors, I really like the platforms, and I enjoy the puns. The music is great, but what it all comes down to is bad gameplay and horrible enemy placement. But that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like this review, please subscribe. Also, I'm trying to get through every single Atari Jaguar game. I'm doing it as fast as I can, I promise. So, leave me a comment. I want to know how you felt about Bubsy. Honestly, I really wanted to like this game. Unfortunately, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But, thanks again, guys.